Skipper, we're here today to talk about your favourite game. You've played a lot throughout your 30 year career. Yeah. <laughs> what, one are we, <laughs> what one are we picking for your favourite one? Um, yeah, look, there's been a few over the time, but you know, one that I was lucky enough to be on the field with you, buddy, in, uh, in the World Cup in Brazil. Um, probably the first game against Chile. Um, obviously making the World Cup squad to start with um, was a bit of a surprise for myself and um, then to be able to sort of start the game and um, you know that moment when you're walking out um, onto the pitch I suppose in a World Cup was a little bit surreal so that probably stands out a little bit for me. What was so good about that obviously it being a World Cup and you a little bit like that came in as a dark horse yeah. straight into the squad and then straight into the starting 11, did that make yeah. it a little bit better, I guess? Yeah, I think so. I think just obviously representing your country at any time is special, but I think to do it at a World Cup is some something that, you know, I probably never thought I'd do. And um, then, as you said, to be able to sort of start the game and, um, you know, walk out against, you know, a quality team with a lot of quality players on that stage um, in Brazil, which is, you know, one of the capitals of football in the world was, um, I guess, what made it extra special. Yeah. I remember obviously being there and I remember the training session that we had and it was like 10,000 little Brazilians yeah. came out and it was in the middle of nowhere and um, I guess looking back on that, it's probably one of the best World Cups to play in. Obviously Brazil, they kind yeah. of think it was the home of football and um, being involved in that. Was that special or did you, do you think it didn't matter where it was? No, I think it definitely mattered. I think Brazil, being in Brazil made it that extra little bit special. I think, you know, to start with, we were, we were pretty isolated, eh? We sort of had that hotel to ourselves in a small little... Um, you know, country town, you could, I suppose you could what say, and uh, Vitoria. <laughs> um, yeah, we, we, you know, we were a little bit isolated in that fact, and I remember the first sort of game on our way. Um, we flew into a, a city the day before the game, and um, Brazil were playing that night, and then, you know, that's when sort of hit home that we were at a World Cup, you know, the, you could see the Brazilians, um, you could hear the drums beating all throughout the streets, and them fireworks. getting into their fireworks, going into the pubs celebrating when Brazil had scored and you could hear that just from our hotel rooms and um, you know they were playing in a completely different city so I think that um, that made it extra special the way the Brazilians embrace football. In that World Cup we had such a tough group yeah. uh, Chile, Holland and Spain obviously Chile was the first game but out of those three games was there anyone that you came up against that thought that's a different level or you felt a little bit out of your depth or was there anyone that you just kind of yeah, was sort of taken aback by? I think like when we sort of, I remember Tezza would um, put on up on the, in the meeting room all the players that we we're going to come up against and you know their stats and what they sort of like to do and what are their strengths and we we're looking at some of the teams going this is going to be unbelievable you know the test that we're going to come up against but I think you know once you're out there it sort of becomes any other game I guess and um, you know in the lead up you're always obviously wary of who you're going to be up against and you know the quality they possess but once you, you know the game starts you sort of forget about it a little bit and um, you just do your normal job I suppose but I thought the, the Spanish boys were different class. I thought Iniesta and, and Fabregas bossed it and um, you know we found it hard to touch the ball a lot of the time in, in that game. They uh, they played really well and you could tell they were sort of on another level. Cheers Skipper, that was Cheers, a great buddy. insight for that. Me. <laughs> Good insight. <laughs>